Hey Finders and welcome back to an impromptu, not scheduled, but very important makeup tutorial. But it's not really a makeup tutorial, this is kind of just like a talk through video. So there's going to be no makeup applied on my face as you can see. I'm wearing a lot of makeup right now, so I don't think we're going to throw any more on the face, but I will make no promises, you never know. Today Mike and I went to the mall, and God knows how I ended up at Sephora while we were at the mall. I went ham, and I went in on the Sephora sale. So I think this is like their spring sale that's going on right now. I believe it's usually like their customer appreciation sale. So with that being said, if you are a Sephora member, you can either be an insider, a VIB, or a Rouge, Rouge being the top spender and uh, top appreciation tier, which uh, you guessed it, that's me. You still have six more days to get yourself either to the sale or order online. So I thought this was important. I really wanted to share it with you guys, not only the products that I purchased today, but my go-to Sephora goodies. These are products that I have been either using a lot lately or ones that I have been using continuously throughout the year. So I wanted to combine the two to really make this you know, an informative, insightful, juicy video for you guys. So without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to my Sephora sale recommendations and purchases video. All right, so I have a small collection in front of me of my top favorite products from Sephora that I would recommend. These are the products that really stood out to me. I kept it to a small collection because holy crap, I bought so many things and it's gonna take us this entire video to get through what I bought today. Let's go ahead and start with skincare. I really enjoy the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. This I use exclusively before applying makeup because it's a really nice thin moisturizer. So I just will take a dollop of this bad boy on my finger, pat it, under my eyes, over my eyelids, let it seep into my skin for about five minutes before going in with foundation, concealer. It's not too thick, it's not too slippy. So my makeup really stays in place when using this. So this has become an important part of my pre-makeup skincare routine, Tarte Maracuja Oil. It really helps to ensure that my foundation applies really smoothly while also hydrating my face. If you like a stick foundation, but you find that blending them out can sometimes be an issue, buy this. What I would do is I would put my moisturizer on my face and then I would go ahead and lather this a little bit primer on my face and then go in with my stick foundation and really blend it out using a dense brush like this it will seriously help you get more mileage out of any foundation this also really works well if you want to put one or two pumps into a liquid foundation mix it together and then apply to your face if you want to do your nightly skincare routine and then end it with this to really seal everything because oils help to seal all of the stuff that you apply to your face in highly recommend this this is a super super versatile product i have to say my nars radiance primer is amazing no one has ever tried this and said that they didn't like it. If you have oily skin, however, you might not like it, but if you are dry to combo skin like me, you are going to really like it. A really nice primer, it's so luminescent, it really helps to achieve that dewy finish without using too many products on your face to achieve it. It has an SPF of 35, which I love, great to wear during the day, and like I said, any foundation that you put over it, the luminosity is gonna poke through as long as you use a brush to blend out your foundation. Do not go in with a sponge after using this. You want to know why? Because the sponge gives full, full coverage and it's just going to cancel out that luminosity and it's going to be gone. I'm not wearing this today, although my skin is really luminous today. I am testing out the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Really great product. I really love this. Um, I'm doing a wear test on it and I don't want to say too much, but if you are interested in this entire makeup look, I did film this video and I'm pretty sure this will be my next video up if not it'll be the one after that so be sure to click that bell button this way you get a notification when it goes live a lot of it is affordable but a lot of it is also sephora and i'm going to touch upon some of the products today so i don't want to give away too much as far as the foundation goes i really love my nars radiant Longwear foundation if you have combo to dry skin super hydrating looks really natural is definitely buildable you know you could put one layer of this on the skin and you will look light to medium coverage go in with a second layer and you'll be medium to full go in with three and you will cancel it all out i love the packaging i think it's so luxe and a lot of these products in front of me are nars so 
This has just been my go-to foundation for a really long time. This works for me in the summer. It works for me in the winter, in between months. It's just, it's a really great staple and one that really, really agrees with my skin. So I thought it was necessary to mention this one. Highly recommend it. As far as eyeshadows go. I have a couple here, not too many. I picked three of my favorites, the Huda Beauty Mob Obsessions. I did a video on this and for some reason really didn't get any views. But if you are interested in seeing this palette in action, I will link that video up here. You can check it out once this video is over. You can just create the most beautiful everyday look or throw on some shimmers and make it more of a nighttime glam. And I love how compact it is, super travel friendly. Take this on every trip that Mike and I go on. It comes with a little very convenient mirror. And yeah, it's great. Can't say enough good things about it. And if you have brown eyes, girl, this will make your eyes pop. I'm actually wearing this palette. You, If you can see like the purpley here, that is all the Huda Beauty. Another eyeshadow palette that I have been loving is NARS. I just don't love that it's super hard to open. That might just be because because of the one that I got, but I literally fight to open this every time. Like it's all messed up over here because my nails just attack it. I did a full on review of this as well. I will link it up here. Check it out when this video is over. Looks very blah, looks very boring, but holy crap. This is the most elegant eyeshadow palette I've ever owned. Like this is the definition of makeup adulting. I literally use this palette all of the time. Beautiful in the crease, look great with any eyeshadow. Highly recommend this palette. I love it, I just love it so much. I needed to mention this palette just because it is the most unique palette I own. This is the Natasha Denona in number nine. I just love how it's like cool toned. It has really pretty shimmers. They're all very pigmented. They all blend really nicely. You know, it's just a very like editorial, palette. I need to film more with this. I do wear this a lot when I'm not filming, but I did do a video. I think it was a Sephora video, what I bought at the Sephora sale that I used this palette in. Um, I will find that and link it up here if you guys want to check it out. But this is just so different than anything I own and it's really pretty just to look at. Like it's a nice item in my collection and I just had to mention it. It deserves that. Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Wherever Walnut. I have used this so many times in my channel. It goes with any and all of my new lipsticks and I guarantee it will go with any and all of your lipsticks as well. You can use this as an eyeliner, you can use this as a lip liner, you can use it for anything. If I had to choose one liquid lipstick to use for the rest of my life, it would be Fenty. Love them and if I had to recommend one color, I think it would be unbuttoned. This red is beautiful and so universal. It looks good on any skin tone and it has like that bluish hue behind it, but this one is just my baby. And I own more than this. Um, they're just like scattered everywhere. Here's another really good one, Uncuffed. I love Uncuffed as well. I don't know, they're really nice. They, they're not like crunchy on the lips. They are the opposite of everything I hate in a liquid lipstick, which is why I love them so, so much. Milk Makeup in Wifey. Oh my God. I've talked about this shade on my channel. It is like the perfect pinky berry hue. Lasts a really long time. The one that I'm wearing today is actually Milk Makeup with a little bit of Wet n Wild gloss on it. I did just reapply it, but I've been wearing this for nine hours and you know, my lips were still really, really purple. And this one is in front of me and it's in the shade New Whip. When you look at it, it looks like a deep brown, but it's actually a deep, deep plum. The packaging on these is awesome. Not only is it white, which is so different from everything that I own in my collection, but it says the name of the shade right here, which is awesome. And then it's a magnetic top. Yeah, this is what I did at Sephora today. Oh my God, it's so heavy too. Let me tell you something. I checked out at Sephora and the guy that checked me out was like totally judging me really hard. Like, I wish Mike was here because he would tell you. The guy was like, wow, you spent so much money, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, you're welcome. Like, what does that even mean? I don't even know. I should have really organized this before I came into this video. I don't own a lot of perfumes. Michael owns like he only will admit to owning like seven, but I've seen his collection and I would guess like he owns like 20 colognes. So I feel like I need to step up my smelling pretty game. So I went to the perfume section and I was smelling all these different ones and I fell in love with this Nest fragrance um, and the scent is wild poppy. So it's so pretty and I love it. And I really liked the bottle as well. So cute. 
this was like $70 and it stayed on really nicely so your girl had to buy it because $70 I used to spend like $150 on perfume okay every perfume that I own right now is over $100 so when I smelled this and then heard it was $70 I was like okay girl I'm in but technically I got this for free because I think you need to know this about Sephora so this is the sample box and it comes with a ton of different scents we have the Atelier Cologne in Pacific Lime. We have Amazing Grace, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. We have a Kat Von D, Tory Burch, Toka. This is probably Burberry. And then there's one missing in here. I just think it like fell out in the box somewhere. It's definitely in there somewhere. And then I have the Wild Poppy fragrance in here. You buy this sample box, it retails for $75, but the value is $147. And inside the box, if you like one of these scents, it comes with a little card. I can't show you the card because I used it to redeem this today. But if you like any of the scents and you wanna buy the full size product of it, you go in here, you take the card out, you bring it to Sephora as proof that you bought this, and then you get the full size on the house. How awesome is that? I love it. Sephora, you are bomb. And it says on the back, try nine deluxe perfume samples, choose your favorite perfume, so you get a scent certificate redeems for a full size bottle. This was my birthday gift, which this is the best birthday gift I've ever received from Sephora. It's their Drunk Elephant. It comes with their Jelly Cleanser and Proteiny Peptide Cream. So I can't wait to use this. And then maybe if I love it so much, I'll buy it. So this is my birthday gift. So I spent $0 on this if you are keeping track of how much money I spent. Note that. I am so effing excited for this. This is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Sleeping Mask. I guess I gotta open this, but I was gonna use it tonight anyway, so it's okay. Okay, so it comes with two different kind of masks. Apply the gel essence to your face, let it absorb, and then immediately follow with the water cream mask, leave on overnight, can be used nightly as a last step in your skincare routine. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do my regular nighttime skincare routine. If you're interested in what that is, I'll link it up here. I did do a video recently, check that out when this video is over. I'm gonna do all of those steps, then I'll throw this guy on, let it absorb into the skin, throw this guy on, and then seal it all in. Favorite ever mask, which is the Fresh Rose Face Mask. I love this. It is so hydrating. It's so gentle on the skin. Leave on for five to 10 minutes and rinse with water. It can be used daily. I leave this bad boy on for like sometimes an hour, sometimes an hour and a half, and then I wash it off. There are real bits of rose in here. This is the reason why I got in so much trouble at Sephora because I saw that I was running low and was like, oh my God, I need my rose mask. What am I gonna do? Like I literally use this like five nights out of the week at least, if not like six or seven. So I went to Sephora and that's why I got in trouble. So I blame you, Fresh, although I forgive you because I love you so much. So yeah, like I said, infused with real rose petals, hydrates and tones, super bomb, super lovely. You should get one for yourself. You should get one for your mom. Mother's Day gift, bomb Mother's Day gift. Guarantee you, your mom's gonna love it. I'm kind of scared. I might not keep this. I don't know. This is the Drunk Elephant. I've never owned anything from Drunk Elephant. So the fact that I got this and then two free Drunk Elephant samples, <laughs> bomb. That was so awesome. I was so excited. This is the Deep Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. Like sunshine in a bottle. This is what the girl told me when she sold it to me today. Without the damaging effects. And it literally says that on the back. It makes the benefits of vitamin D, omega-rich virgin marula, and black currant seed oils, along with vitamin F fatty acids, immediately replenish the delicate balance that supports a healthy barrier function of skin. While a concentrated mix of protective antioxidants boost skin's defenses against pollution, all delivered with the bronzy finish. She told me I can mix it in with my SPF moisturizer and it's gonna bronze my face. You can take this and add it into your foundation that's too light for your skin and it will boost your foundation up so you don't need to buy new foundation. Very smart, can't wait to try this. I will let you guys know how it goes, obviously, because all I do is talk about beauty on this channel. Also dabbled in hair care products. Now you know my hair is a little accessorized today. You like my clips? If you're interested in these, I got these little clippies on Amazon. I think they're like less than $5. If you're interested in them, I will link them down below. Super cheap, super cute. Um, but yeah, so 2019, I told you guys I was going to dabble into more hair care products because I never do my hair, and I think it's important to do my hair. So I bought these two little goodies, Verb, which Mike introduced me to this brand, and I also bought Mike this at Sephora. This is his C Shampoo Texture Color Safe and Cleansing Shampoo. 
I don't know. He likes sea salt things. He wants to look like he, you know, left the beach at all times. So I went ahead and got him this. I got myself the Verb Ghost Dry Oil. It's supposed to like condition your hair and smooth your hair and make it look like fresh and shiny. This is for people like myself who only wash their hair twice a week. This is not a dry shampoo, but it's supposed to bring life back into your hair. So you know like when your hair gets a little like oily underneath or it gets like stringy because it needs to be washed, you're supposed to just like fluff it into the hair and it's supposed to make it look like you just washed it. Cheek wall and spray six to eight inches from dry hair, run fingers or comb through hair to distribute. It's just supposed to bring life back into your hair and it smells really, really nice. Then I've heard nothing but great things about this IGK Rich Kid Coconut Oil Gel. I have a coconut serum that is by Mark Anthony, I wanna say, that I received a really long time ago and now I can't find the same exact one anywhere. I can only find like the dry shampoo spray that's coconut oil, but I really do like coconut oil for my hair. Apply to clean towel dried hair and let air dry for optimal separation and hydration. So I was talking to one of the girls at Sephora and they said to, you know, towel dry your hair, make sure it's damp and then just run this all throughout your hair, comb it through and then blow dry it and use a diffuser. So it's like that round thing that goes on the end of your blow dryer and just like diffuse it up. It will create really pretty like beach waves that you can see on this girl right here. And then the last few bits that I got, I got because, you know, I felt like I really needed them. I have never owned anything by Charlotte Tilbury. I love her though. Like I watch her YouTube channel and I watch her put makeup on models and just like she makes it look like she's just like painting the most easiest painting on these beautiful creatures who literally some of these models, they don't even need makeup. Like throw some water on their face and they look like they're ready for the red carpet. But she just is the queen of like moisturized skin, a glowy, dewy, beautiful like glow from within inner beauty. She is like literally the queen and I love how she uses like these words like everything is so magical and lovey but nonetheless I had to buy some of her products. So I bought two things that I really had my eyes on for the longest time. One of them I definitely did not need but I bought it. Fallen from the Lipstick Tree Hot Lips Lipstick and this is in the shade Kim KW. Almost like too light for my skin but I definitely want to try it. I do not want to open it guys and I don't want to swatch it honestly because I have some nude lipsticks that I'm trying to go through and once I open this like you know the expiration date comes up sooner than you think. Like this is 18 months. Can you wear a lipstick in 18 months? I don't think so. Unless you only own the one lipstick, then I think you can, but I own a lot. So I don't wanna open it, I don't wanna ruin it, but it's a super, super nude shade. And then I also bought from her the contour wand, fair to medium. So this is just a wand, liquid contour, blends it in. I'm gonna do a video. I'm gonna do, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a recap of all these products. So in a couple weeks, I will sit down and give you guys the rundown on all these products that I purchased and let you know if I would buy them again, if I wouldn't buy them again, and I'll apply some of them to my face. This way you guys know what it looks like. So stay tuned for that. And then last but not least, I bought this because I follow Andrea Ali. She's so good with her Instagram stories. She's literally always on stories and she always talks about this brand, Pharmacy. So this is their Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. Gently massage onto dry skin for eye makeup removal. Apply to closed eyes, rinse with warm water, or wipe off with damp washcloth. I have a full face of makeup on right now. So how I would go about taking this off is I would grab my Neutrogena makeup wipes, take it off with my makeup wipe, and then I would go in with my soy cleanser or my soap and glory vitamin C face wash, wash my face, and then go about my skincare routine. But this is supposed to be a nicer for your skin. I do have very sensitive skin and I have a lot of redness around my mouth that gets more irritated as I irritate it. So I heard really good things from Andrea and I really wanna try this because I trust what she says. The girl is a makeup artist. She's super talented. She's super down to earth. I really love her and she really got me into this. Yeah, I'm really excited. I wanna wash my face using my cleansing balm. I wanna do my rose mask. So like I said, I am going to do a dedicated video within the next few weeks. Maybe like I'll give it a month's time. This way I can really get the full rundown of every single product that I purchased today and then let you know, you know, if it was a good buy, if it was a bad buy, so on and so forth. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. Be sure to subscribe if you are not yet subscribed. I would love to have you here on my channel. Also click that bell button. This way you get a notification whenever it is I'm uploading 
a new video here on my channel, you have six days to go ahead and get out there and buy any of the goodies that I mentioned today, or maybe you know, you're know you low, you need to restock on something at Sephora. Depending on what you are, I think insiders get 10%, VIBs get 15%, and then rouges get 20%. So you know what? It's not bad, and considering the crap in Sephora is never on sale, now's the right time to buy. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, finders. Mwah.